hello guys welcome to my channel today I will be sharing with you how we are going to use the A Classroom Cloud Talk version well of course at first you are going to open your class table through the tutor client once you are ready there you are going to click this open a classroom okay once you have clicked it you will be redirected into this page and by pressing this icon meaning you are going to start testing so just press this start testing and you can see this things here so this is a camera when you can see if you can see your your face here meaning your camera is okay your camera is on then you are going to click C after clicking the C you will be redirected into this you are going to click this one and once you hear a sound meaning your audio is okay so you're going to click here now after clicking the here you can see this page and as you can see there there are bars if you can see green bars running over there meaning your microphone is fine so you can clock you can click fluctuations and there you go you are ready to join the room so you may click it and you will be entering the class already Entering the class will be dependent on how fast your internet connection is. If it is very slow, then you will also be waiting for quite some time. But if it is very fast, just one click, you can immediately enter the classroom. And once you have entered the classroom, this is how it looks like. So as you can see, we have there teacher's window and also the student's window. As you can see in the teacher's window, we have three icons in there. These are the microphone, your camera, and the refresh. In the student's window, you can also see four icons in there. You can see their pin, wherein if you're going to click it, you are authorizing the student to use the pen and other tools. The next one is the microphone of the student. The camera. And of course, the very important thing, the trophy. We are clicking the trophy once the student has answered the activity correctly or said something nice. You're going to acknowledge the answer of the student, so just click the trophy. That will be the reward that we can give to the students. And you know, this is very motivating to the part of the students if you're going to give them trophies once they have answered your questions correctly once they have they were able to give the right answers in the activities then you are really have to give them trophies for them to be motivated and for them to be happy of course next one there is we have the upper right version we also have there how many icons one two three four five six seven eight the first icon there is refresh Okay, sometimes if you're uh, if you are stuck here, you can try to refresh your page by pressing it. The next one is the students list. Well, actually, we I never experienced opening the students list because I only have one student every time that I have a class. I only have one on one class, so I don't think I can see the list of students here in this icon because I only got one student every class. The third one there is the file or whiteboard. It is in here where you can see all your lesson materials. So we have there. There are lots of lesson materials. And actually it is also in this page where you can find the PPT format of the lesson. If you want to have an inter interactive material, you should click the PPT so what we have here right now are the PDF file 
PDF file is just okay, but uh, it is not interactive. Unlike PPT, once you click the answer, you, you can immediately see the answer each item. Unlike PDF, you need to answer all the activities first in that page for you to get the answers in the next page. So if you can see PPT, you immediately click PPT so that the material that we'll be using is PPT instead of PDF. And of course, we have there the whiteboard. We are actually using the whiteboard if we would like our students to write something on the board. If, let's say, for example, if we have spelling activities or if you want your students to read some words from the material, you can just type it in here. Okay, so whiteboard is also useful for us. Now, the next one there is the toolbox. In the toolbox, you can see answer. This answer is actually composed of, I think, yeah, four letters, multiple choice, A, B, C, and D, but I seldom use this. I, I never use this, actually. Next is the turntable. The turntable, in class in, you have dice there. But in a classroom, we can use turntable. Let's say it's, it's one to six, I think, yeah? There are some activities that you are going to click because there are numbers one to six, and you are going to open which number would uh, come out from this turntable. Then we have timer. Uh, timer, I tried to use timer before when I had my IELTS class. You can use timer. Upload picture. I, I never use upload picture because if I want to share pictures with my students, I would, I would click this icon, the file or the whiteboard, because it is in here as well you can, where you can upload pictures. And it is also there you, where you can upload the material. Once the material is not updated, if the student will say, teacher, the material, I have already studied this material, so shall we move forward so all you have to do is to go back to your class table click the desired material download it and upload it in the classroom by clicking this icon okay so moving forward we have the responder well i, I haven't i never use this responder and small whiteboard small whiteboard is smaller than the whiteboard that i have shown you a while ago I tried to use this small whiteboard, but it was a long time ago. It was when the first time I used a classroom. But when I discovered that I have that I can use a bigger whiteboard, so I didn't use this anymore. And the next one there is the chat box. Once you click the chat box, you can immediately message your student. Okay? You can chat with your students. Let's say, for example, if the student could not understand that particular English word, you can just type it here, enter, and they can also translate there on their, on their side. And we can also even translate it in here. So that's how we can use the chat box. The next one there is the setting. So setting, if you're going to click the settings, you're gonna see this one we usually click the setting if the student would say hello 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 teacher 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 are you there hello so if the student would say like that meaning it's either the student could not hear you or the student could not see you so in order for you to check whether your equipment is okay you click the setting and there we have the camera you can check the camera if you can see your yourself meaning your camera is okay and also you can click this one speaker test to check whether you can hear the voice or not and you can also check the microphone and once everything is okay you can click okay and that's it next is the full screen if you want to have a full screen lesson material, you just click that icon. But I never, I, I sometimes accidentally click, but not in their icon, uh, I, not in that icon. Sometimes if you are going to click 
in the trophy not exactly in the trophy maybe nearby trophies it would accidentally you know use the full screen and then you yeah, just you know click the escape and it will be it will return into its natural or normal face and of course the last one there is leave this or that is the exit we will just be clicking that if we are already we already finished discussing the lesson finish the 25 minutes do not click that a second before 25 so you can click that 25 0 5 25 10 uh, it's so long as it is over 25 minutes otherwise you will be marked early leave okay and there we go let's try to have the next one here which are the teaching tools teaching tools are really very important we are using this when we have our class so the first tool there is the mouse it is used to turn pages play embedded audio files or lesson material yeah we are all we are really using this yeah and the next one there is the laser pointer if you don't want to underline you can just use this laser laser pointer to point anywhere on the page so let's say for example this is the laser pointer you can point it here to let the student read what you want to read so that is how we use the laser pointer the next one there is the pen tool we are using this pen tool to draw lines arrows and to highlight things on the page yeah you can have a straight line you can have uh, free hand writing like that using the pen the next is the text tool if you want to type something on the board you are going to click this so we are using this to write words on page and the color and size of the fonts are actually changeable once you open it you can just adjust how small the letter would you like to have or how big it would be and also you can change the color which color you really desire really want to use then it is just fine and the next tool there is the shape tool we are using this to draw shapes square rectangle and ellipses I usually use the square or rectangle to highlight a word or a sentence but if I just want to let my students read, I am using the pen tool, the straight line. But if I want to emphasize and to enclose the sentence or the words into a uh, square or a rectangle, then I am using the shape tool. And then the next one there is the eraser. We are using this to selectively delete annotations on the page. Let's say, for example, you have written something in there in, on the board and you would only like to erase a word or a letter, you are going to use the eraser tool. And the next one there, if you don't want to do what you have done, <laughs> just click the undo, meaning you're going to restore the previous step. And if there is an undo, <laughs> you also have redo or recover this is used to restore the next step and the last tool there is a looks like a bin or recycle bin this is actually used if you want to clear the entire screen you don't need to use the eraser tool because sometimes if you want to clear the screen if you're going to use the eraser tool it would take time for you to erase everything on the board and like clicking this icon this tool you will immediately clear the screen all annotations uh, will be deleted in just one click so those are the tools that we are using when we are discussing the lesson and as you can see there we still have this bar 
this is actually what we are using when we proceed to the next page as you can see there they, this would also tell you that this material is composed of 10 pages at present I am in page 1 if I want to to proceed to the page 2 to page 2 you just I will just click this arrow and so on and so forth until I reach the last page which is page 10 and if I also want to make the material bigger, I will just click this zoom. We can also make it uh, bigger for us, but I seldom use the zoom. And then the same thing will happen if you're going to click the next one there, you will have the full screen. And the last icon there is the control, the volume control. Sometimes we are using this if we are playing an audio or a video that is embedded in the material. We are using this uh, volume control. And I think I was able to mention everything. So, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. I hope it helps you.